Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 Special Projects replica build for you today. And this time it's a replica of a Super Saloon, a replica specifically of the Chrysler 300C SRT8 model, which is bigger in capacity than the existing 5.7 Hemi that we have on the game. It's a 6.1 litre, 425 horsepower, and we've actually got a pretty much spot-on mechanical replica of the actual SRT8 Chrysler. Obviously, visually, it's not spot-on, but there's nothing really we can do about that, unfortunately. So, as always, I will do a quick run-through of the visuals, because it's relatively simple, but just to get the colours that I've used for any who want to get the same colours, then more importantly, of course, we'll go over to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup, and then finally take it out to the track to see what it can do. Now, as far as the visuals on this particular replica, it's actually really simple. It's virtually just the paint. Now, for the rims, we can't get exact replicas of the car's actual rims, but I've gone for the inch up two option. And the particular rims that I've gone for are these ProDrive GC10s, which have a similar style to the actual rims from the factory on the 300C SRT8. There are, of course, no additional meters or body upgrades because it's not a premium model obviously. Now as far as the paint, technically you can go for whatever colour you want. I've gone for Luna Silver, which you can get from Audi, and I've actually gone for that colour for the body and for the rims. And obviously you can't paint the brakes because I've left the brakes stock because it's more of a road based vehicle. So as I said, a really simple look overall for the car. Nothing fancy, very simple to achieve, and you don't even have to stick to it, you can go for whatever colour you want. So, now let's go over to the mechanical tuning garage for the setup of the car. As far as the mechanical setup on this particular replica, as you can see it is quite nicely sitting at the 500pp level. Now I've gone for sport soft tyres because it is more of a street based tune. I've opted for the standard brakes because again it's more of a street car and you want it to feel as such. As far as the suspension we've got the ride height on 100, front and rear springs on 675 and 725. The dampers and anti-roll to 3 all round. Camber just on 0.5 front and rear, neutral toe. As far as the gearbox, pretty simple. It's stock because it's running the same gears as the stock version, or the same gear ratios, I should say, as the stock version, or the version that's on the game anyway. As far as the diff, we've gone for an initial torque of 10. You can go lower than that or higher. I would encourage personal variation. I've got acceleration on 60 braking as low as possible as you can see. Again I've left the clutch and prop shaft stock to make it feel more like a road car again. As far as the power you've got a couple of options. As I've mentioned before on the channel you can have the same amount of power but with more PP for that power if you fit more parts. So I've gone for the stage 3 engine tune, the supercharger and the intake tuning plus an oil change at the 425 horsepower level, which is the power of the actual SRT8, but that also allows us to have the car at the 500 pp level. If you fit less of those parts, you can have the 425 horsepower at a lower pp, which is technically better because that's more competitive. Or if you fit even more parts and lower it down to 425, you can have that same replica in an even higher pp. Now as far as the weight, it does actually weigh more than the car that's already on the game, so you want to add a 10 kilo ballast, and we've put that all the way to the front of the car, and that's it overall for the mechanical setup. So it is a pretty simple one to replicate on the game, and now let's finally take it out to the track to see what it can do. Overall, of course, this vehicle with its weight and size, and also the fact that it's not the most powerful of cars at the 500 pp level, makes it kind of obvious that it's not a racing tune. This is just a replica for the fun of it and for people who are fans of the SRT8 version, such as myself, to be able to drive at least a representation which is as close as we can currently get to actually having the SRT8 version of the Chrysler 300C on the game. Hopefully they'll add it in the future, but for now 
this is as close as we can get. So for those of you who are new to the channel and who like building replicas and keeping up with them as soon as they're released, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and as always, thanks for watching.